you know, oftentimes, you know, if you're if you don't go along with the mainstream stream narrative, you're considered hyperbolic, right? You're the one that's, you know, doing the most and all of this. And it's like, you're literally telling me <laughs> that the child that I birthed that I don't know what's going yeah. on with them. And to me, that's that sounds so extreme. And that sounds so, even, you know, with CNN and their freaking death clock ticker. I know. You know <laughs> it, was, it was like, y'all are so extreme, but yet, if yeah. we say, you know what, we want to take a more measured approach to this. We want to be a little bit more reasonable. We're the ones deemed that's like, you know, just insane. And it's like, you, it's, you feel like you're living in like the upside down world. It is like, do, do your kids watch Stranger Things? Do they like Stranger Things? Oh my things? gosh, yeah. Oh, right. Well, mine, mine are, I, I, I have a confession. I love, I love me some Stranger Things too. But that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm in the upside down world. It feels yeah. like what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. And it's like, can we get some sanity, please? We're supposed to be, you know, the United States of America. We're supposed to be, you know, the, you know, leading the charge and, you know, a lot, you know, innovation and lots of things mm -hmm. like that. But all these other countries have figured out that, you know, children aren't super spreaders, that classrooms aren't super spreading events, that, you know, the UK just announced that, you know, they're done with their mass mandates right. and their vaccine passports. And they're like, you know what, we're done. America's like, what do you think about that? Do you think we're kind of easing up? I think I, I, I haven't read the new uh, reports and stuff of what Lord it's, Fauci is telling us these days. Know. <laughs> but, Emperor Fauci. <laughs> Emperor Fauci. But it's like the one half a dozen of the other, I think, because I look around and I think, I think, I think finally, now my silly self predicted that Americans were going to be here by Easter of 2020. Okay. But I think we're here now where most Americans have given it up like they oh, yeah. don't care like if most you you might go to some city centers you know or some hoity-toity areas mm -hmm. where people want to be like people have taken this as a taken the mask as a as a symbol more than mm -hmm. a medical yeah. necessity right right you have those places you're always going to have the true believers but when i and i travel a lot i've been traveling this whole time i've never stopped traveling i've been in state after state i go most places and even where people are obeying mandates, they're not fans of them. They're not going home and locking themselves in their home and not right. seeing anyone. They might have a mask on in the store, but they're going to a birthday party, right. you know, where there's no masks. And yeah. people are, are realizing that life is going on, but the government mm -hmm. in a lot of ways hasn't caught up and can't because in blue states like mine and in the case of the federal government they've committed to the zero covid narrative and they're stuck there and so the only way to like get out from under the commitments they made that they can't possibly fulfill is to blame you and me mm. which is not doing enough right it's so i i never understood that in the first place like first of all when they when they, when they were like we're gonna quarantine healthy people i was like now yeah i don't have a medical degree I don't work in any type of medical profession, but somehow quarantining healthy people just did not seem too logical to me. I you never understood that, it. Wow. But no. I took that approach. I was like, okay, that seems really stupid. I mean, no shade, but that seems just like one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. And then you saw all of these other um, you know, medical professionals just jump right on board. It's like, well, well, that's what the F FDA and the CDC guidelines say. I'm, I'm like, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, where is your medical curiosity? Like, where isn't your scientific brain supposed to like turn on and, you know, aren't you supposed to be taking the charge to like figure this out? And, and it was like, they just went so lock in step with whatever was coming down from the masters. And it was you like, know? this is really weird. And I think it revealed how and I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of pull on my tinfoil hat for a second, but mm -hmm. I think it revealed how easily people can get like into a cult, like yes. into a cult like mentality yeah. of just following blindly following just yeah. whatever the masses are doing. And I think a lot of people um are just blindly going along with or have been blindly going along with all of this. And it's really making me like the, 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 the thought of the individual, the thought of, you know, like just, 
freedom and all of these things that America's supposed to stand for, how we just went right along the, you know, masses of people went right along, you know, along with it was really kind of worrisome. And now we're dumping that all onto our kids. That is like really frightening to me. I think that, I think you're absolutely right. I think that one thing I've learned over the last two years is that um, most people aren't independent minded. <laughs> I've realized mm -hmm. that, right? Most people are followers and not leaders. Yeah, and I don't yeah. think that that is an American problem. I think that is a humanity problem. You're right. And um, I always, on my podcast, I always say like, I'm going to take it to church. So I'm going to take it to church here for a second. You can take it to church all day here. <laughs> All right. So the thing is, is that we are even in from the ancient biblical days, you see the Israelites in, in defiance of God wandering around in the desert for 40 years because that was groupthink. They were all led by groupthink, right? It was like, well, we want you to get us out of Egypt because we're slaves, but I don't know, you know, maybe it's better to be slaves because at least we get three squares a day. Hello. You know, that's group thing. Or, or Moses goes up to the mountaintop for a while. You know, he's not there to to be judging people and dispensing rules for a while. And all of a sudden everybody's like, hey, <laughs> let's, let's put up this golden cap. Like, why not? Let's do it. But, you know, we are. <laughs> let's party. We, we are primed for group think. We, right. And that is why individual thinking it's what I find attractive about Christianity. It requires an individual choice and an yeah. individual relationship. It's why it's so distasteful to a lot of people. Um, and that's how freedom is. It requires individual engagement yeah. and individual thinking. And a lot of people don't feel comfortable with individual thinking because they don't feel comfortable with themselves and their Ooh. place in the world. So yes, we are primed to be a mob. Now that mm. being said, that means people like you and me have to be bolder, you know, because we have to give people something to follow. Well, we're yeah. not going to change every single American into a leader all of a sudden. And we probably wouldn't yeah. even want that. But, right. no, we don't. but I, I actually just finished up writing a book that should be published this summer sometime Ooh. about this very issue about conservatives. It's time to stop being afraid of being disliked or talked about poorly and understand that that's going to happen anyway. And you're going to have to stand up and draw your line in the sand. That's and, right. And, and that means you're going to have to withstand the slings and arrows that come with that. But whatever your line is, you know, for people like me and Keisha, it's our kids. For yep. you, it might be your business. It might be the trans uh, athlete on your daughter's college team. And whatever or high school. Is, or high school. Or high school. Yes. Where, whatever the line is. Find it, identify it, stand there, and don't move. It mm. is time for us to stand up and be loud leaders. Conservatives find that distasteful because we're not the, that type of people, typically speaking, outside the punditry class. Right. Um, but you know what? This is what has happened while we've all been just going about our business. Hello, somebody. Hello. Hello, yeah. caller. <laughs> you got to like come in and clean it up. It's time to get ugly.